So I'm going to do two examples where I show you how to tackle equations that have logs nested within another log. And before I start, I want to just review a couple of concepts here. I want you to take a look at this expression and I want you to try and evaluate it. Now hopefully uh, you will know from your previous work on logs that the answer to this is the number that I would put in the exponent right here on the 3 to get 9. And so the answer is 2. In other words, 3 squared equals 9. So this number here is called the argument of the log and this is called the base and this is called the exponent. So this does not mean, this, these two numbers here do not mean 3 to the ninth. Okay. So th just to um, go one step further, if I asked you to identify the base of this expression, I would hope that you would choose 3 as the base and the argument would be this piece right here. This does not mean log times x plus 1 because the log by itself, here this piece right here, is not a number, it's a mathematical instruction and so you cannot multiply that in. And that is the one tempting thing that students try and do when they see these logs inside of logs. They want to multiply the log inside into the bracket. But this log right here, for example, is not a number. And so consequently, you can't multiply it into the bracket. So that being said, let's, um, I'm just going to erase this so we've got a little bit of room to work with. And let's tra tackle what do we do with these nested logs. First step is you go in sped, you do bed mass, you do your order of operations, and you go inside the first log. And so all of this here, all of this in yellow, would be the argument of the log of base 3. And this log here is the argument on the base 2. And I look at this and I take a look at my blue square there and I say, is that, can I figure that out? And no, I can't because that's where my unknown is. So that means I have to peel away at the logs one step at a time and you need to get rid of this log so you write it as an exponent. And I'm going to go from the outside in. And so if I take get rid of that log or write it as an exponent or boot the base and some instructors call it, you go 3 to the 1 equals the argument which is log 2, log x, and there. Simplifying the right hand side, I just have 3. Next step is again, I want to get rid of this log. I cannot multiply it in because it's not attached by multiplication. You can't distribute um, that mathematical instruction, but you have to get rid of the log. So you write it as an exponent. So that is 2 cubed equals log x with an argument of 2. Simplifying the right hand side, I get 2 cubed is 8. And now I can do it one more time. So write this one as an exponent third time. So I get x to the 8th equals 2. And now to get 8 all by itself, or so the x all by itself, I take the 8th root of both sides. So that means it's the 8th root of 2 equals x. And I would leave the answer like that. Most likely they'll want an exact answer and not something that you've punched into your calculator. So you take nested logs, you go one step at a time, and you peel away at the logs. Let's do a second example. Notice where the x is in this case. It's right on the outside. So I'm going to go right to the middle here and I'm going to say, can I evaluate this piece in the, in the innermost bracket? Yes, I can. The answer to the this is 4. So I'm going to rewrite it and the equivalent of log base 3 with an argument of 81 is 4. Why? Because 3 to the 4th equals 81. Right now I've got go inside the next bracket and I say can I evaluate this piece here? 
No, I can't because my unknown is... Oops, I didn't write the unknown in the right spot there, so sorry. Let me just put this as a 2. Can I evaluate that pink block? Yes, I can. It's equal to 2. So I evaluate it. It's 2 because 2 squared equals 4. And then the last step is... I'll keep missing my x here. <laughs> so that x is there. Now I'm going to boot, write this, get rid of this last log, and I can't evaluate it, so that means I have to write it as an exponent. So x to the 1 equals 2. And there we go, we've got x equals 2. This is a way you can tackle nested logs.